um, obviously I've moved on to Penzance and um, one of our main things is we like to invest in young people um, and give them as many opportunities as possible to succeed. Um, obviously with England now, there's so many youngsters playing on the England side and this type of program um, it's obviously going to benefit these youngsters massively and prepare them for what lies ahead. Um, how does Penzance compare? Obviously you've seen what I'm, I've been down there, obviously we're good mates, but how does it compare to other clubs with this initiative? In my opinion, apart from a few others, it's fairly unique. Um, I can't say it's completely unique because you could probably have someone around someone that's doing something similar. Uh, but I don't officially know of anyone that's doing a similar thing by bringing in an ex, having an ex-fully professional like yourself um, and it being so intensive as well and like I said bringing in a full-time, a current full-time cricket strength and conditioning coach um, it's it's out there on its own and I, it sounds a bit silly but I kind of hope that whoever gets onto it does it for the right reasons and actually mm. wants to push on and don't worry about getting it wrong have a go and I know that you as a coach will push them in the right way mm. Um, failure is probably a good thing. Like, use it as a learning step and Brilliant. really push on. Um, from your point of view, what um, do you think? Your what are your key attributes that you think make successful players? Key attributes, from my point of view, from a fitness yeah. point of view, you've got to have a big running engine. Uh, one of the problems we're seeing, not just at Essex, across the whole, so the whole country, is there's too many kids just playing cricket. Uh, that makes in, in, in the mind that makes sense like you want to get better at something to do it uh, but the ECB put out something recently in the last year or so that basically the whole current England team besides maybe one played multi-sport as a kid um, but through your program and through myself we're kind of taking off taking care of that and um, we're looking after we're giving them the skills giving them the movement skills uh, hopefully they play other sports mm. uh, rugby football all these different sports um, but we, we're going to just uh, take away any issues that people might have. Um, so like I said, big running engine, and we will look after laying down some sort of strength foundation work. And we'll push from there.